We've got an awful lot going on here in New York, as you know. Um, we've been really, now that we've got so many assembly members and members of the New York State Senate interested in this issue, we are going from Congress member to Congress member in an effort to get more co-sponsors and get ready for the next session. Why is it so important for us in New York? As, as my uh, good friend, Walter Petrolik, welcome to the fight, Walter, uh, pointed out before, New York State and the Northeast have the, some of the oldest infrastructure in the country. And then within New York State, my area, Westchester County, has some of the oldest infrastructure in New York State. There's a lot that needs to be done. Um, New York State, ranks number 46 in the state of repair of their roads and bridges. New York State has over 2,000 bridges that need to be fixed today, not a year and a half from now when we get all the financing and plans together today. Um, the M our rail system needs a lot of help. The MTA is billions and billions behind in their repairs and things are only going to get worse with climate change. The commuter rail line that runs through my village of Dobbs Ferry is, is going to be on a line that is going to experience regular flooding by 2050. Our Amtrak lines are so bad that our assembly members who live on the far ends of the state, whether in Buffalo or in the North Country, have to leave their districts a day early to make sure they get to Albany on the train because the trains are so unreliable. So everybody just carpools instead. Um, and then there are the sewers. Many of you who have read the New York Times may recall that a couple of years ago, there was an article about a city in Westchester County whose sewer system was so bad that was belching sewage into people's houses. That's not only a problem in this one city at this point. It's a growing problem throughout many parts of Westchester County. Then, of course, there's the whole planning for the future. I mentioned uh, the risk of flooding of our commuter rail lines. We also need to make sure we produce enough clean energy, that we have a grid that can transport it. We need the, um, the EV charging stations. And we once we get our railroads fixed, so trains can actually run on them properly. We need high speed rail, which would economically transform, especially the Southern tier of New York state. It would make places like St. Bonaventure a, suddenly much more in demand as an educational institution. And this would be true throughout the Southern tier. The economic development that would result would be huge. Um, but now, of course, we need to figure out how to pay for it. We are, we need hundreds of billions of dollars in investment in New York State alone. Appropriations are still needed for individual pro projects, but if we are going to get this all done, and at some point it's going to have to be all done because everything is starting to fall apart all at once, we need another answer. And the National Infrastructure Bank is the answer. We're never going to be able to raise taxes enough to get it done. The private capital industry, if they wanted to do it, they would have done it by now. So it's up to us. Funding it through conversion of T-bills in, into um, stock in the, in the bank's corporation, and then loaning, loaning it out and reloaning it as as it gets paid back that is the way we're going to have to do this and given the need in this country which is multiple trillions of dollars although i i submit that no one really knows how much it costs because no one knows how much it costs to fix all the sewers in this country um we need to get this done and it will be an enormous help going forward now, as I said, New York State is really starting to move toward um, 
increased advocacy for this, which is really important given the size of the New York congressional delegation, as well as the amount of, um, of other banking and other infrastructure we have. It sends a real message if New York does it and, and really speaks up. Most of the Democratic conference in the state assembly signed on to a letter um, calling for the creation of a national infrastructure bank. We've been going from congressional office to congressional office. We have been steadily adding New York members of Congress. Everybody every, in every state, go start knocking on doors, your, your state legislators' doors and your con Congress members' doors. If we keep doing that, we'll be able to get this done in the coming session. And I look forward to working to all with all of you. Thank you.